last December, right before my exams, I thought it'd be a great time to go on a little trip to Copenhagen to visit some of my friends, but also I really miss the city that I used to study in for a whole year. I had the earliest flight, so I did my skincare and makeup in the airport. Super genius, life hack. So I could immediately just step out into the city and walk around and soak everything up. It still felt so much like home. I could remember every little street, every corner. It was fabulous. Then I met my dear friend Kimmy for lunch, got my favorite bowl in Copenhagen. We also went to the very fabulous, glamorous Illum Mall. And then I visited Malika at the bakery where she works and she hooked me up with some very, very needed coffee. I stayed with Malik on this trip and she's the sweetest and it was so much fun having breakfast together and then going for a little morning walk. If you're not going to Copenhagen in the summer, I highly recommend going just before Christmas because they're selling Christmas trees everywhere and you have all the Christmas markets and ice skating rings and the vibes are just sublime. I'll never get over the fact that a coffee is like 7 euros in Copenhagen, but what is a girl to do? I can just walk forever in this city. Right up those fire stairs is where I used to have class. Like right here. This is actually such a beautiful environment. I always used to walk here, but it's so, it's so gray and all the trees are bald now, so you can't even see it. But it's still such a peaceful place. Little piece of nature in Copenhagen. I'm not doing that. But I was doing a little damage in the other mall. I didn't buy that much. I bought this Baraklava thingy and I'm so obsessed and sue me but i went back to 42 raw because i was really craving their sweet potato fries with truffle mayo and i got the dark brown balaclava but now looking at it i wish i also had gotten the light color but you can have everything i'm just walking to meet my friend at the museum The museum is so big, I wonder if we're gonna spend like two hours, I think, at least. I cannot believe this was only the first time I visited SMK Museum because it's so wonderful, it's huge and it has a great variety of older and modern contemporary art. And the building itself is also super interesting because it's an old building with new built on. It looks like we were there in the middle of the night, but it was literally 3 p.m. And it was also so empty, which was fabulous. Definitely really, really beautiful museum. I would highly recommend. I was craving the fresh air so much. So I feel really good now. And um, we're heading to dinner well it looks like it's late in the evening but it's not even five so that makes you want to get dinner very early i guess <laughs> i 
after our delicious dinner, we had some gluck at Soho House and we wanted to see the lights festival, but we missed it because we are stupid, but still had a good time. And here's just something you'll only see in Scandinavia. It's a self-service plant shop. So you just transfer the money and they trust you. Like nobody, nobody checks. It's Thursday already. And today I'm gonna meet Kimmy for lunch on campus. And we're going to a Christmas market. Super nice day. So this is the campus where I also always had classes and it's so spacious, it's so chill, it's so beautiful, so green. You'll never be stressed here. The atmosphere is so calming. I think this is such a cool student building to live in. And what I really, really love about this campus is it's so green. And you can walk right into the park, right into nature. It's so perfect. And this bike parking is also very unique. But the best part is the almost all vegan, super healthy, super delicious, fresh buffet. Belly full, heart full, we went to the Christmas market. And also, can we just appreciate for a moment that it hasn't rained for a second my whole trip. I bought a little Christmas ornament for the tree at home and then we had some more glug, of course, which is the best when you're outside all day. We walked for hours, I feel like, but time flies when you're catching up with good friends. And that evening I actually went to the architecture museum because it's open in the evening on Thursday, I guess. And it's so nice when there's nobody in there. Good morning, guys. I feel like I haven't talked to you like on this whole trip. And today's already my last day here. So I'm just gonna head out for breakfast and then spend a little more time in the city with Malika, aka my current roomie these days. It's really been so, so wonderful to stay with her and her boyfriend. It's such a cute room. But it has truly been so nice to be back. It's so cozy. I'm going to take it super easy on this last day because I basically walked 20 kilometers each day and that's fine, we can do that, but, but my legs, they do hurt for some reason. It's definitely not as cold as the other day, so it feels really nice right now. Even though I'm still all bundled up, but this, like the cold sweater with this and the coat, I'm invincible, I feel like. Oh, I was supposed to go to the bakery for breakfast, but now I see the oatmeal place. There are too many good options here. This is seriously the best shopping free in my opinion in Copenhagen. And then slowly the trip was coming to an end, so I decided to just spend some more quality time in the city with Malika. We went to our favorite shops and our favorite coffee place where we actually very first met. I feel like I really did make the most out of this trip. Maybe a little bit too much because my knees were actually super messed up. I had to recover from all the walking. I'm not even joking. Anyways, this is your sign to book that trip, visit those friends, you won't regret it. I know I'll definitely be back so very soon here in Copenhagen, but for next week, back to regular scheduled programming, picking up the vlogs here in Amsterdam. And until then, comment down below if I should do my master's here, and I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you for watching. All my love. Mwah.